Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So I am going to be doing a Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet in the monogram updated review. <clears throat> this is my everyday wallet for 2019. I rarely switch to a smaller wallet, even in the summer months. It just, I just, I just love this wallet. Um, nothing worse has, um, changed from my previous review um this was still you know curved it's still curved right now the glazing has peeled off on the um on the pocket on the outside here i just actually noticed that because i'm doing this video and you know i always want to show you guys all that I'm gonna try probably contacting Louis Vuitton and asking them my options for that um the the ones here the glazing everywhere else is still intact and beautiful so I don't have any problems with that it's just the pocket here um I really do wish that they didn't even have this in the back because I really don't like this flap and because this is curling towards uh, against the wallet I feel like that is the reason why the glazing is coming off everything else is still really great um, I don't have any issues with the zipper the hardware is still good I do have some um, chipping with the hardware you can barely see it it's not very noticeable to be honest and it doesn't really bother me that much um it just you know it's just darkened i believe it just really chipped something off um the pockets are still really great the inside lining is still perfect i this is you know this is so far like my 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 absolute um favorite wallet i love that i have a lot of card slots <clears throat> right here i love that i have you know slots here and here and you know all that the reason that i really got this wallet was due to the maximum amount of card slots you know i wanted what i remember when i was thinking of getting the sarah Someone I worked with was like, how many like credit cards do you have? And then I explained, it's not just for credit cards. It's for your ID. It's for gift cards. It's for, um, yeah, a lot of gift cards. Like, I get a lot of gift cards. And I also buy a lot of gift cards. So it's there for that reason. And, of course, your insurance, you know. We're adults now, sweetheart. And I remember because she was more of a minimalistic kind of person and her favorite wallet was a fold over wallet and she just loved that kind of wallet. She just, she just preferred a compact wallet. So, you know, if you're a type of person that prefers like a long wallet, this to me is the holy grail. Um, if you are more of a compact um, person wallet, this might not be for you because it really is a personal preference um it really isn't that oh the Sarah wallet is so great because of the fact blah 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 you have to think of um, when you're purchasing especially if you're new with luxury products you have to think of what your personality really is don't follow what a lot of people on YouTube a lot of people on Instagram a lot of people on Twitter or anywhere that you see or your friends or your family are getting get what's something that you would love every day I love this and um, I have no regrets purchasing this the only thing that I really do wish they never really added in this particular wallet is this I hate this flap I use it from time to time because it's there and it's quick and easy but I hate the fact that it curls I just hate that um, I actually have been looking around on Louis Vuitton their website and I was looking around for a different wallet that a long wallet still but didn't have the flap in the back, but had a lot of um, a lot of room inside and a lot of options that I could slip in, and I just couldn't find anything. It's like this is really the 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 holy grail for me, 
and I just kind of I'm gonna wait it out and hope one day they're gonna come up with a wallet similar to this that will have like a gazillion card slots and um, it won't have the back flap um, as you can see this is really messy over here because I keep a lot of things here I keep receipts I keep um, notes I keep a lot of different things I, I sometimes I even keep like gift cards but usually like gift cards and words cards a lot of times I'll just put it here in the back um, again more receipts more I just I want to go through receipts um, and the reason for that is is oh if you guys want to you know I'll give you guys the link to how to actually get money back through receipts and I'll, I'll do that down below and that's why I keep a lot of receipts. Um, also, I keep, I just, I like to go through a lot of things and just be like, oh yeah, I did get that. I did do that. I did do that. But a lot of times um, there have, well, there have been an occasion that, you know, I throw the receipt out. But I keep the ones that I believe I might need in the future. So it's not every receipt that I do keep. Yes, it's ridiculous. And I believe I just cleaned out my receipts like like this pocket or in this wallet about less than a month ago. You know, I don't know. Am I the only one that, you know, shops that often? I do have a family and it's not like I'm it's not like these receipts are everybody knows if you're if you're new to Louis Vuitton, never bought Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton doesn't give you this kind of receipt. <laughs> these are like, you know, gas receipts. Um Grocery receipts, craft store receipts, you know, things like that. Um, so I just I just keep them in there and I just kind of double check and see what's going on. And um, a lot of times when there are certain ones that are too old or they get too faded or I believe that these, let's just say, certain products, um, if I need to scan my receipt, I'll just scan it and keep it in the computer. As long as I've gone through them, um, not really rushed at the store, then I throw them out. But I haven't had the time. And, you know, um, if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook page, I I went through a lot of um, serious accidents. And it gave me multiple head traumas. And um, it's been really difficult and I have been trying my very best every day to to get better and heal but only really time can heal it number one and um, secondly would be therapy and it's just I have just been extremely um it feels like I've been spread too thin so that is really why I haven't really gotten around to do this but um that's okay you know I mean, when I close it, I don't get to see it, right? <laughs> That's probably the problem. Um, would I recommend this? Yes, completely. If you've never bought a Louis Vuitton item, I would suggest get a wallet because you're always going to use a wallet. You're always going to need an ID, especially in the U.S. I don't know about other countries, but um, in the U.S., you always need an ID. And you always also need your insurance card. So... It's safe in here and you're not gonna leave the house without like money other th I mean unless you, you're one of those like you know um, like me I prefer to just keep everything on my debit card or my credit card and things like that debit card is actually better but um, my point is you still have to put it somewhere what I would suggest don't be impulsive don't like you see my video and you're like oh my god I really love this era now because she totally loves it and she made so many reviews on it and she loves it loves it it's her holy grail okay I'm me you're you to me having a long wallet is convenient because I pop this open my important stuff is right here I have other options for cards I have pockets for my receipts which I have already said that I do a lot of shopping for my family um, I have an option for coins if I want to in here. That's me. That's my personality. That's my personal preference. I have been doing this since I've been wanting. Um, I've been really loving and appreciating a long wallet since I've been in college. Before that, I always preferred the the um, trifold. Um, 
that was my personal preference and I completely love that wallet. Now, I don't. So what I would suggest, if you want to get a Louis Vuitton, your first Louis Vuitton ever, and you're unsure because of mixed reviews, you're unsure about where do you go? Do you get an SLG? Do you get a bag? What should you get, right? I would really suggest first is an SLG. The reason I say that is because you really are going to put through the ringer, especially a wallet, because you're definitely going to use it so much. So, like every day. I would suggest you look into yourself. Are you going to be okay that you flip it once and you'll like this kind of, this kind of wallet? And that's all you got to do. It's convenient. However, it's big. It's bulky. It's the long wallet. You have to do that. If you prefer a more compact wallet, like you prefer cutie, tinier little bags, this might not be the bag for you. I mean, this might not be the wallet for you. So you really have to assess yourself. Are you a trifold or a bifold wallet person or are you a long wallet person? It's completely different. And um, I do have a trifold wallet, my Victorine. And that is for the rare occasion that I would probably want a smaller wallet. That is not my everyday wallet. This is my everyday wallet, whatever season, whatever time of year, this is my go-to wallet. Especially now that I'm a mom, it's just, it's just more convenient for me. So just do that. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, Natasha suggested this, blah, blah, blah. And you know, I got really in excited and I wanted to get a wallet. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to encourage you guys just to do that. I want you guys to really think about it because not everybody is the same. Some people are a type of person that they saved for a year or six months or two years for a Louis Vuitton wallet. That's a really big deal for them. Some people can just get it in a week. You know what I mean? So you really have to assess yourself. This is a luxury item, regardless of how, mu how much you make. If money is money, it's going to be the same. I would prefer you really, really do. This is my advice. Just think about what you would prefer. Do you see yourself using this every single day for at least a few years? If you can see that, then go get it. If you're the type of person that you change your mind so much, you're indecisive, you get distracted with different things and this, like different, different styles of the same thing. I would suggest you really take it back and you think, which one would I use more? And I would suggest you pick that first. Once you love it and maybe down the line, you might be like, I want another wallet and I want, I want the Sarah wallet. Or a long wallet then you do that or you know what I really I really really love this wallet I don't need another wallet like this is the holy grail for me then you save yourself the trouble and that extra cash you can buy a bag that's that's how I think now that's how I assess myself now I just don't go impulsively at the store and just and just like you know get whatever and then I get tired of it I really, really do take my time now. That's why I try to limit myself one bag a year. And if I don't get a bag in one year, I'm fine with it. I'm not going to rush myself and doing stuff like that. So, and this is what I always um, recommend, especially for luxury goods, luxury products. Because a lot of people, I am a lot of, I, I'm a lot of, I am a part of a lot of Louis Vuitton groups. And Facebook and um, you I see a lot of people that really regret purchasing it and it's an impulse buy or they've been eyeing it they've been drooling all over it and they just dug their heels in there and they they watch and re-watch videos about the product and because they never owned it they're just like eye on the prize and they don't really care anything else they, they've had um, blinders the whole time so I want you guys to just make sure you also watch my other videos on what happened with this particular wallet because this particular wallet when I got this within the first year I had issues and this had to be repaired complimentary by Louis Vuitton so make sure you do your due diligence you do your research before actually jumping the gun and buying this um I do recommend this wallet I recommend this a hundred percent this is my favorite wallet of all time 
Um, this is my second long wallet from Louis Vuitton. The first one I ever got was um, a hand-me-down. It's older than me. I believe now it's about 50 years old. It's a lot older than me. It was made way before I was born. And um, a family member of mine gave it to me. She said, I've noticed that you have started to like Louis Vuitton. You never really used to like that before. I'm gonna give you my wallet that's just been sitting in a drawer for like 10, 20 years. So she gave it to me when I was in college. And that really, that really um, maximized my love for Louis Vuitton from then on. Um, so again, check your personal preference. Don't just go just because it's a trendy thing. You don't wanna go with a trend because this is your life, your money, your lifestyle. And what I would suggest, what Louis Vuitton is more of a long-term relationship. So if you're one of those that wanna do a short-term quickie, you might wanna look at um, contemporary brands because then you can experiment. They got different kinds, different styles and stuff and then make your decision. So if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions about my wallet, um, again, the only issue that I have ever since I had my previous review last year was the glazing on this part. Everything else is the same. I don't have any other issues. I have a little bit of wear on the hardware, but I rarely, really see it. Um, the gold hardware is still um, is still great. There's a little bit of tarnish, very little. As you can see, it's still pretty shiny, and this is a few years old now. So as you can see, you really do get what you pay for, for especially for a canvas product at Louis Vuitton. Um, yeah, I recommend this if you're looking for a long wallet. It is very pricey. It is one of the pricier wallets in Louis Vuitton, but you do get what you pay for. You can you can pack like a lot. Um, I never really take this just this because it's kind of awkward for me to hold a wallet like this to just go to the grocery store. I'm not I'm not the person that other people would just like take a clay or a wallet to the store. I never, I, I'm, a, I'm a bag person. I have to have a bag. So I always pop this in the bag and just throw it in. No, not really. <laughs> I arrange my bag. <laughs> um, so yeah, any questions, any, anything you want to chit chat, you want to, if you love your, your Sarah wallet or you hate your Sarah or Sarah wallet, let me know down below. Um, if you just want to chit chat about Louis Vuitton or Sarah wallet or anything about Louis Vuitton, let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love chit chatting with every single Louis Vuitton lover out there. I just love it. So let me know down below. And of course, all my social media accounts are down below as well. Do expand the description section because that's where it is. It's going to be tricky depending on where you are watching me in your phone. It's going to be in the top right or it's going to be right like above here. Um, if you're going to be watching on an iPad or a tablet, I believe it's going to be right below the, the video, just like when you're on, on the computer or a laptop. So, um, there you go. Completely recommend. Love it. The outside glazing is still beautifully perfect. But again, this was repaired and all the, uh, I'll try to link everything down below. I do have a uh, Louis Vuitton playlist. So if you guys can just go through that, it's there and I will try to put the playlist down below. If I don't, just go to my playlist on my channel and I have a Louis Vuitton playlist um, so you could see the repair and I did every single time there was a big interaction. I really did a separate video for it so it was all really, um, all as detailed as possible in what I went through. It wasn't just one video and I could have missed a few things here and there. So. I did that for me and for you guys. So here you go, my beautiful, beautiful Louis Vuitton Sarah Wallet wallet in the monogram canvas. There she is. There you go. 
love this so much. Thanks guys. And um, I hope that you like my video. You're going to give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed and the bell, so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Thanks guys. And see you guys again next time. Bye.